Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of Smokey Prince. My name's Smokey McGee. You can call me Jason. Either one works just fine. Today, we're going to do a quick how-to guide on how to use the paint feature in Bamboo Studio. It's really simple, really straightforward, and you can get really detailed with it depending on how detailed you want to get with your painting. The little details really can matter, and sometimes um, clicking on one spot will paint the whole thing. So we're gonna go ahead and touch on some of that. We're gonna go ahead and load up a print into Bamboo Studio. We'll go ahead and paint it and just go from there. If this is the type of content that you're interested in, do me a favor, hit the sub, hit the like, let me know what you think of the video down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So just for time's sakes, I know that this helmet that I have loaded up over here still needs to be painted and it actually doesn't have a print profile in it. So we're going to click on the profile or the helmet itself. We're going to download the raw file. And we're going to go from there in Bamboo Studio. We have the helmet loaded. You can see that it actually has the logo already engraved in it. And we need to pick our colors. So we know the helmet is going to be a nice dark blue. The logo itself is going to be orange. The outline of the orange is going to be white and the face mask is going to be black. So now that we have our colors picked out, we're going to go ahead and go up here to our little color palette, color painting. We're going to click on the white. We're going to paint and then right here, we're going to go ahead and fill this spot right in like that. Next, we're going to click on the orange right in like that. Now, Something I want you to notice, and this is where some of the finer details of this come into play. There are more outlines here. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this out and make the white a little bit more broader. And it still has this line in here and this line right here. So when you're doing this, make sure that you're paying attention to your angles because when you're printing it, it's going to show these angles as this extra blue and that'll actually add more time and more filament swaps to your prints as you're going. So the more of one color you can use throughout your prints, the less time and filament you're going to use and or waste. Um, so we got all that taken care of. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side really quick. We'll go ahead and go white and white. Cue time lapse. All right, now for the fun part. So a lot of these masks will actually paint some of these. So something that I've learned you can do, we're gonna go ahead and paint this and yep, that was perfect. It got this little guy right here. Now I wanna make these white, but you notice all of this turned black when I press that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on our white and then I'm gonna go over here to my smart fill angle. I'm gonna dumb this down because I want it to only capture this section. We might be able to get it to this perfect sweet spot where it grabs this entire thing. Nope, not there. So we're gonna end up dumbing this down a little bit. And we're just going to go ahead and fill. Now you can actually hold your cursor down and drag it over the sections that you actually want painted. I want all of that white and this white so on and so forth. We're also going to go ahead and get the inside because we want a clean print right there and there. Go up here. We can actually make our paintbrush a little bit thicker here in order to capture all of this just like so. Once you get the hang of this, honestly, it just becomes a little just tedious more than it is like monotonous, <laughs> um, but once you get done with it, it should look a lot cleaner. Now, I would do the buttons black. So we're gonna go over here, click black. Now I can, yes, the buttons do click black. The inside of each one of those screws though is still showing uh, blue and we don't want that. So we're gonna go over here and grab our spear paintbrush and we are simply going to drag inside of it. Now you can actually make your spear as large as you want to a point 
to get more of an inside or outside. Like I can go that large, but obviously we don't want to do that. We're happy with it being this size for what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and click the paintbrush. We want that. And then we want the spear, just like so. One more time. Oh, too many clicks. We're gonna paint first and click later. There we go. Just like that. And just like that, I know I just said that twice, we have a fully painted helmet. I said fully painted helmet. <laughs> And that's really all there is to it. Just know that you can always adjust how big your paintbrush or your fill button is from here. This is your main paintbrush, or as I like to call it, my main paintbrush. And the reason I use the spear is because it doesn't just get the surface. It'll actually get the entire, um, basically, ball's worth of color into that one area. Um, so, yeah. I hope this video helped you at all. If it did... Again, a thumbs up and a sub go a long way. So on that note, you have a wonderful night, and I will see you later. Deuces.